so tell us your name and where are you from? I'm Xenia. I'm, I'm from Moscow originally, but my husband is British. So we felt strongly that we have to come and help and to show that we are against the war and we are trying to support Ukrainian refugees. And uh, this is my son, Nikita. He's my name is Nikita, half yes. British. Uh, I came, I was in Moscow when the war started. I was involved in lots of projects to do with film and theatre. And I had to leave because I had, I was there on a Russian passport. So therefore I was mandated to go to the uh, war registry office and um, get registered to fight. But I had to flee Moscow and leave a lot of stuff behind. And now I'm here doing what I can. Wow. And how old are you? I'm 19. Good for you. You have a great son, proud mom, and we applaud your courage for standing up to this unjust wall. And uh, so we're in the same boat. We, the new Chinese people from the new federal state of China, um, we're not represented by Xi Jinping, who is Putin's friend, who is uh, providing military and financial support for this wall. So that's why we're here. We want to tell people, hey, we love peace, we're against the wall, and we stand with the Ukrainians. Thank so you so much for, <laughs> for your support and for showing the world that we're all different and we all have our separate opinions from our governments. Mm -hmm. yeah, so as a native Russian, um, um, are you scared or are you worried uh, of you speaking uh, vocally loud against uh, the unjust wall or against the regime? I think it's pretty much impossible to be uh, loud and, vo and show your support openly when you're in Russia. Yeah. It's very easy to show your support when you're abroad, but it makes it really unclear when and how one would be able to return to Russia because they follow your social media and they really can stop you and can arrest you and you don't really know what can happen. And there are many people in, in our group also who had to flee Moscow. They were arrested for peaceful um, solitary pro, uh, protest mm -hmm. and uh, they had to flee in 24 hours. They're now trying to find their new life in Warsaw and they still come and help the Ukrainians at the border. They are at the uh, train station also trying to help the refugees, although they're themselves in desperate situation. Wow, this is exactly what we are doing as a new Chinese. We fled communist China and, uh, and we risk our life uh, to stand up against the communism. And, uh, you know, it takes courage to do so. So I applaud your courage. I'm so glad to meet um, wonderful people, regardless of nationality and uh, ethnicity. We're all humans. We all love peace and freedom. Thank you. We applaud your courage too, because we were very surprised to see you here, and that it sort of also worries Chinese people, because we were thinking that it's mainly the problem of Russians and Ukrainians, but the whole world now has to take a position, really. Yeah, yeah. So just like uh, Putin does not represent all the Russian people, uh, Xi Jinping and the Chinese Communist Party does not represent the Chinese people. Uh, we're represented by the new federation, the new federal state of China, uh, who embrace uh, freedom and democracy and rule of law, and we support uh, peace and uh, security for all people. That's who we are. And you can see the back of my messaging. See? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Any comments? I, I really applaud your cause, mm -hmm. and I think what you're doing is incredibly important. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, what well, you're talking about Moscow uh, and how difficult it is to speak out. I was there on the streets when the first protest came out against the war. I was running around with a camera, and it is basically impossible. So, I mean, it is easier to stay silent in Moscow, but silence is also a position. Um, the streets are just sort of filled with armed police, about 10 times the amount of protesters, and they just break up anything before it can be um, it started. So there's lots of fear, and we're trying to show that not all Russians, we're doing our part to try, and like you, you are doing your part, to try and show that not all Russians are for the war. Wow, absolutely. He's a great son of um, Ra 
Russia and your great mom of Russia. You represent the true Russian people. We understand you and we support you. And um, so I know the former Soviet uh, Union, you know, um, uh, years ago, the communism collapsed, the dictatorship was, communist dictatorship was gone. And now the Chinese people are taking down the communist party in China. So um, I still remember the historical moment when communism in so uh, former Soviet Union and Eastern Bloc collapsed. That's a great inspiration to the Chinese people. Now I meet two wonderful Russian people standing here again for freedom. How inspiring is that? Yes, there are many of us. I think much more than it appears when you just look at the country or look at the uh, when they make official uh, question, questionnaires and um, people are sometimes scared to express their opinions when they're openly asked in the streets in Russia and they pretend either to avoid or to uh, say that they're support, supporting whatever because they can be kicked out of their jobs. They can have problems with their children in kindergartens, at schools. So it becomes more and more difficult at the moment, but we still have hope that in our lifetime things will change. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, just like you, um, most of us uh, who are here uh, are Chinese diaspora, meaning the Chinese people living outside of China. We have to be here and we have to speak on behalf of our brothers, sisters, uh, of Chinese people living in communist uh, regime who cannot speak. So you are speaking on behalf of many good Russian people. Thank you for being here. We love your presence. And together we can make this world a beautiful place to be, especially with such a young person, a very fine young gentleman. You are the future of your country. Well, that's what we hope. That's what we dreamed of. But, I mean, it doesn't look very likely at the moment. But hopefully, we hope, we dream. Um, yes.